All right, here we go. This is a custom 1v1 on Thar between the blue player in the upper left, Bob Freddy in the e Easter, I almost said Eagle, but Easter Osprey. Eagle Osprey would be a little bit interesting. Um, versus the red player in the bottom right hand corner, Chen 4 in the prime helix. And it does look like that Bob Freddy, Bob Freddy is going with a moneymaker build and Chen 4 is not. It's just, uh, he's just opening with, you know, unit opening. And so Bob Freddy doesn't really have anything to open with. Just one Longhorn of, as opposed to Chen 4's, uh, you know, one Gemini and one Ratchet coming out. So he will be able to take his close much faster than Bob Freddy's going to be able to take his close. However, it's, I don't know, it's not really that huge of, I mean, on this map, you're not really going to find as many benefits, I would say, with a no moneymaker build, or with a no moneymaker opening, as you would in a map like Duel or Twin Peaks or something like that where the strong opening where you, you know, take mid much, much faster and all that stuff, it's going to be a lot more worth it, as opposed to Thar, where there's so many avenues of approach. I guess Chen 4, with his no moneymaker opening, probably, uh, especially on Thar, would have been better off going for mid instead of his close, and at this point, he's not that much far further ahead than Bob Freddy is uh, taking his close. Actually, Bob Freddy is sort of ahead uh, with more Longhorn here in the area. Chen 4 now doing a quick scout. Uh, it does have flamers in queue. My, I would assume he's probably going to bunker them or go for mid with those flamers or something like that. Uh, Bob Freddy has already taken the, his uh, his close under his control as well. Uh, but actually, Chen 4 now going with these moneymaker snipes, and Bob Freddy not responding to it at all. And actually, you can hear that now that I have him selected as the followed player. Uh, you can hear that he, he heard the taking fort damage sound, so he's definitely aware that Chen 4 is actually taking down his money makers, and Chen actually able to take down every single money maker that Bob Freddy had out on the field, which is a little bit interesting to see Bob Freddy not react whatsoever, especially going with a money maker build, but I guess Bob Freddy never actually scouted Chen 4 on his side at all, didn't go for any harass, no nothing, so he probably wasn't directly aware that Chen was going with a no money maker build, um, and now Chen actually going with flamers at the corners of the fort and Bob Freddy, I mean, he still hears that sound, but he's not reacting to it quite yet. It's really, really funny to see, and he's just trying to make sure he holds mid. Uh, but once again, Thar mid, I, you know, very, very important in team fights. But in 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 a one v one situation, oh, I was about to say situation and scenario at the same time, and combine it into a new word, which was going to be scenario. However, now Bob Freddy taking mid uh, didn't really drop that long. Okay, the, okay, yeah, he did drop the long horn. Never mind, he did, and he they will go kill those flamers. Chen Four, I wouldn't say he's behind. Actually, he's uh, it's pretty he's pretty much behind now because uh, because Bob Freddy has mid. However, in terms of upkeep, he's a little bit ahead. 26. Uh, he previously had 27 to 25 right now on the field. It's pretty even, to be honest. But Bob Freddy might lose this middle outpost if Chen 4 can actually successfully take this or use this push. However, he's not supporting his units. Where is he going? He just He's at his close outpost, his right side, and he's using it to, to bring another Gemini out on the field and, brought, you know, and put it at the back of this tank line. Which is a very interesting move. Bob Freddy actually run, no, really on help does not get finished off though. Chen 4 had a small window of opportunity to finish off Bob Freddy and pretty much win this battle, especially with mech support. But Chen 4 not here to support his units. Instead bringing jackals and weirdly enough, he sets them on attack here. They will take down this jammer and probably that artillery unless Bob Freddy actually responds to it. However, one did already go down to the Longhorn over there and Bob Freddy healing up that artillery. So now Chen with a couple jackals, that, com that push was completely shut down. Um, you know, absolutely nothing happened for Chen right there. Bob Freddy was able to, to, I don't know if he lost many units at all. I would assume he only lost something like two tanks. I didn't really get a good look, but uh, you guys saw it. He really didn't lose anything. And as you can see, he has plenty of units still over here. Is reacting to Bob Freddy's uh, ledge drops over here of Jackals. And just drop, does drop just one Longhorn, which is definitely enough to do the job. And the, you know, Jackals are not attacking the corner. So it's not really that big of a threat. Bob Freddy dropping tanks left and right here, um, sending them to the mid, or sending them from the mid to the fort, and actually is ferrying some from that, that fort push to this close outpost, and Chen will lose it for sure. Not able to finish Bob Freddy off in that chase, and now Chen with a couple of random uh, Gemini over here uh, still has to defend, and actually a lot of these Longhorn are getting quite a lot of damage on Chen's, uh, on Chen's fort. 
So Bob Freddy is actually way ahead at this point. He will be able to take this close up post under his control, faring even more Longhorn over here. Uh, Chen could probably take advantage of the fact that mid is not defended at all. After this gets shut down, he can just do a mass Y and uh, hold position or switch to T once they get to that close to that middle outpost. But Bob Freddy uh, going to be able to take this close out of post under his control. What does Chen have? He has nothing right now. It's 24 to 22 at this point. Uh, Chen is now moving out. But did he set these on T or did he set them on Y? A couple random jackals I would assume are on Y. Uh, these, oh god, they were set on T I think. But he did do a mass hold. Um, and uh, it's just going to... What is he doing? He's just tr creating Unicluster over here, trying to approach this close outpost. It's just a little bit weird to see uh, trying to fight against the most heavily defended point on your, uh, you know, in your opponent's kind of control. Chen, oh, I guess he was going to bring uh, some artillery over. He was uh, making a tank line to make a defensive line for artillery to approach this bottom outpost. But Bob Freddy, on top of things, able to uh, kill a couple units here just by faring Longhorn. He had defending it that close over here to this, uh, you know, where Chen had his units over here. And now Chen trying to move. I don't know what he's going to do with these, honestly. He probably should. Uh, oh, actually, I completely forgot about these jackals. Bob Freddy dropping and firing instead of taking something out of his queue. He has a Seeker and a Longhorn, which would be great for defense at this point. And uh, doesn't decide to defend. Oh, defense against a, a future attacks. That's weird. You should have just dropped him and left. He lost a lot of time there just shooting and firing at those jackals. And in the meantime, Chen 4 has been able to make a pretty good defensive line here with one Archie firing in. Bob Freddy losing one Longhorn. Uh, it does finally do uh, put a jammer down. So that is one good thing now at this point for Bob Freddy. But Chen 4 now with three Arch Archies out and will easily be able to uh, hold right here. It's not really going to be that threatening. Uh, because, oh, but Bob Freddy with that jammer down. So, you know, it's 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 good uh, good practice here by both players. Uh, Chen, once again, could have just done... I mean, he did not scout at all. Mid is completely open. He could have done a Y push to T on at mid or even mass hold because it's, you know, directly in that line or even just a, a large fort push would have been able to take mid down on the way keeping Bob Freddy at the fort or something like that. But uh, at this point, he is just doing a counter-artillery war or Bob Freddy is actually Chen 4 with no uh, no Sonya, no Jammer in his loadout. So this is actually a, a losing battle for Chen. Um, he's actually losing quite a lot of units because he does not have a Jammer. Uh, creeps are actually reaching Bob Freddy's mid, but Bob Freddy's like, I don't care. My creep should be just fine there at that mid. Actually, they aren't. They will neutralize that middle outpost. And Chen 4 now reallocating, well, I don't know if you can actually say that, sending Jackals on Y. However, his creeps have been able to take mid. That's so weird to see. Uh, and Chen 4 says he brought the wrong loadout. Oh, no. But he's doing just fine with them. And, yeah, he does not have a jammer. I think is what he said. Um, oh, yeah, he just said it just now. And now Chen is forced to pull back. The, yeah, these are these archies are just so strong against anything without a jammer and protection. These, jam these jackals are actually doing a decent amount of damage. Chen might want to just keep that up. He has this mid. He really needs to just hold this. And, uh, I don't know, put some basic fort defense over here to defend against anything bo that Bob Freddy tries to attack with. And he would be fine. Holding that mid is really, really powerful. This is very, very much undefended. This is very, very much undefended. So Bob Freddy has everything sitting over here at the bottom outpost. And, uh, and a little bit of fort defense over here. And putting them on the bottleneck, which is probably not a good idea. This is probably a better spot right here. A nice wide defensive line. But Chen 4 will be able to hold this mid with a couple tanks here. And a few jackals. He might want to actually just continue doing those jackal sends and maybe a little repositioning because the fort is, for the most part, undefended. And those corners are not that hard to micro to them. You know, getting jackals to those spots. And now Chen just again refocusing on taking this bottom outpost back. Which is, uh, it's, I really, really would like to see him do something else. Bob Freddy's actually unit captain. He is sort of forced to push out at this point. And, uh, oh, what is he doing with these, with these archies? Oh my God! He is positioning them for this, for the right outpost, which is so strange of a move. I mean, he could have just put a single longhorn or something over there. Does Chen even see those? He does not see it on his mini map because there is like nothing over here. Um, he might have when the when the infantry was over here, but now he does have to worry about. Oh, Bob Freddy switched it from Y to T. Such a strange move here. And there wasn't even that much defending for Chen. And I guess they're going to split between mid and the close over here. So Chen will lose these outposts, honestly. Even though that there's not too many units going to each outpost for, for, for Bob Freddy. 
Chen doesn't really have anything defending at mid at all, and this outpost is completely gone. Chen is not really looking, it's not really looking good for Chen. Um, and, and now these tanks are approaching the middle outpost and will be able to neutralize them unless, oh, and Bob Freddy even supporting them with artillery. And Chen is not here at all. What is he doing? He's, oh, oh, he used that small amount of time to drop a couple Gemini over here to neutralize his outpost, but it's getting thwarted by Bob Freddy pretty quickly. And Chen now just trying to kill what he can over here, but he has lost mid already. Uh, repositioned a couple of those Gemini to that middle outpost defense, but once again, Bob Freddy has way too many tanks for Chen to deal with coming over here to the mid, and now has pretty much full map control, except for the corners, which is a little funny to see, especially on Thar. Not really used to seeing that almost ever. And yeah, it, it's just very, very strange to see no corners. I guess in a 1v1 it's a little bit more common, but and because of the game flow this time, but no one went for the corners initially, which is such a strange thing to see. I mean, even though there's only two players, so 1v1, usually you'd see at least one player go for the corner at one point, especially after one of the other players takes mid, because it's one of the only avenues that you can actually take. But uh, at this point, Bob Freddy has complete map control. Once again, except for the corners. I'm sorry I have to repeat that over and over. I just want to cover all my bases here. And Chen, it's 64 to 17. My god. Um, there are, uh, Bob Freddy can just push all in right now and win easily, but Chen with a couple Gemini, he will do some corner drops, and there is nothing defending around, except for these two Longhorn, there's nothing really defending around Bob Freddy's fort, and Chen does set them on the high ground. Uh, Bob Freddy dropping a, a a Longhorn and a Grinder here at the front door. Uh, it has to go all the way across the map to respond to Chen 4. And Chen 4 doing the right thing, actually killing these, these the defending Longhorn, extending the life of these Gemini. And the Gemini are actually getting uh, contested and blocked by these Longhorn that Bob Freddy just dropped here. But constant life getting uh, getting drained by, uh, by Chen 4. And Bob Freddy can win right now just by sending everything here, sending everything here, and sending everything here. He has plenty of units out on the field, but is instead now really really focusing on defense and I'm not really sure what the hell he was doing initially before this attack happened but for the most part he was just you know defending repositioning dropped some stuff at that front door for some strange reason doing a drop when he could easily win I mean 67 to 13 it was pretty much the same upkeep numbers previously and Chen 4 with level 3 carry at a level 8 helix can carry 4 Gemini and he will do quite a lot of damage as long as he finds a good hole and he is going to find right on the corner right there Bob Freddy trying to body block uh, but you know it's really really difficult uh, especially with four Gemini firing in and okay, tries to drop some on the corner but Chen 4 not able to get all those Gemini on the corner but uh, you know a decent amount of damage going down by these Gemini drops and Chen 4 saying I'm glitching but more and more Gemini getting queued up here and Bob Freddy prioritizing wrongly I would say at this point on making a wall instead of just sending everything to attack this 79 to 9 right now he is out doing Chen's upkeep by a factor of eight. It's an eight to one upkeep difference at this point. And uh, Bob Freddy is not using his units at all. He's just sitting, I mean, this is kind of stereotypical, uh, I don't know if you want to call it like boring air mech play or kind of stagnant air mech play. He's not, I mean, he, he's focusing on holding instead of attacking. Uh, and, you know, once you transition, ooh, nice dodge right there by Chen 4 and Bob Freddy trying to hover him in the air. Oh, and Chen transforms. Chen just needed to wait for Bob Freddy to transform down, but no, he got hovered by Bob Freddy and Chen 4 transforming while Bob Freddy was still over him and getting finished off the air. A little bit interesting to see, but um, either way, uh, Bob Freddy once again not just sending everything. It's so weird. I mean, does he re he doesn't really realize his position and power on the field right now? And Chen Four now with four jackals, Bob Freddy not really keeping an eye on the minimap and not really prioritizing on. I mean, he's doing the slow osprey crawl thing, but at this point, it's not something that you really need to even care about or even think about. Bob Freddy now responding to the end on oh, Chen Four with a couple jackals and firing at the corner. The jackals will not be able to finish it off right now, but I guess Chen Four. I mean, unless Bob Freddy really, really concentrates on walling up now, I guess now is probably the time to shift gears. And Bob Freddy saying, "I can't lose." And yeah, Chen Four 
almost able to finish off Bob Freddy right now. Chen Four, I mean, Bob Freddy really, really, really needs to wall up and prioritize also on defending this ledge because any ledge drops for any units by Chen Four will be able to get the finish at this point. And Bob Freddy, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's at his unit cap, so he's not able to uh, to produce more units and defense. Oh, but Chen Four now dropping some jackals on that ledge. Uh, will he be able to actually? Okay, he lands and fires at the corner. Will this be it? Will this be enough? No. Chen Four. Okay, now just dropping fire, but will, ah, I don't think this is gonna be it. Chen Four. Uh, still alive no seekers no AA at all for Bob Freddy at this point and again Chen 4 getting finished off but four more jackals in his queue Bob Freddy saying no chatting too much guy you gotta block you gotta make more wall or just do an all-in push all okay oh my god this is way too late I don't think this is gonna be enough Chen 4 has about half of his life left and after he respawns he's almost instantaneously gonna be able to get this finish on Bob Freddy uh, yes four jackals Bob Freddy not keeping his eye on the minimap not prioritizing on what you need to do at this point is keep the mech the hell away from your fort but at this point four jackals and firing at the corner with your own mech is gonna be able to do it I'm pretty sure that's it Chen 4 actually able to fan and Chen 4 actually said what I'm gonna lose and LMA <laughs> oh man Bob Freddy going down to Chen 4 there with last minute drops by by Bob Fred or by by Chen 4 and Bob Freddy had that match won after about eight to nine minutes in the game and he pretty much had the entire map, had every outpost that was under any player's control, under his own control. So every outpost, except for the corners, were his, and he did not use the advantage that he had. And all Chen 4 had to do was drop, 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 and Bob Freddy didn't even wall up completely. He really, really needed to wall up completely if he was going to go that route to begin with. I mean, it was the wrong route. It was the wrong choice, number one. But if he was going that route, which he chose to do, he didn't even commit to it, and he really, really should have just said, okay, if I'm going to make a wall, I'm going to make a big-ass wall. I have all these outposts. I have plenty of upkeep. I can socket some... Oh, he didn't have any generators. But either way, he would have still, you know, had way more uh, uh, upkeep on the field, you know, in outpost defending positions than Chen 4 did, because Chen 4 had nothing. Chen 4 just had his fort. He had no money makers. He had no generators built. And all he was doing was dropping it, and that was apparently enough to win this game. So, lessons learned. I mean, look at the score. Bob Freddy has a lot higher score than uh, Chen 4, meaning he produced quite a lot more than Chen did. However, Chen was able to take it just because of weird, weird decision-making or lack thereof by Bob Freddy. So, guys, learn from this game. Learn what not to do or what to do. However you want to take that. All right, guys, send your replays in to me. Make sure you click that send, send me replays link. Check out the rest of my links in my video description as well. There's a lot of great stuff in there. This is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.